All right, so let's continue with our tutorial series. In this uh, series, we're going to go to the 3D Warehouse website, and we're going to search for a house, which I've already done. Now, just one precaution, if when you do your search, it usually shows up this screen first. So there's no models really here. So you have to click on this. It's a little kind of important tidbit to be aware of. So I've already looked through these, but what you should do with your students is look and find one that will both do the interior and exterior. So sometimes what happens with some of these models, I think this one is an example, it's hollow. So all you have is the exterior. So your goal is to try to find a few models that work interior and exterior. So this is one that my students have used in the past. This is another one my students have used. Now there are a lot of models in here. So you, you, you know, you could look for, for 20 minutes and uh, it is a really, really important step. Students should take the time to find one that works well for them. So what I've done is I found this one and I am going to open twin motion and I am going to import it. So I'm going to click on import and this is uh, important to just make sure you click on fix UV textures. I'm going to go get my model, which I've downloaded already. Um, so let's go there. So this is the model that I am interested in. So I'm going to click OK. And sometimes it opens, you just have to turn around. So uh, we talked about learning to navigate uh, 3D space for students. And, you know, sometimes they, these come in with like little weird stuff. Like there's a, there's just to show you the height of somebody here. I'm going to use the E key and I'm navigating with the W A S D keys, which we already learned. And what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to delete everything about this character. Okay. I'm just going to pause it for a second. Sometimes it takes a couple minutes. Okay. So I got rid of that. If there's anything else in your scene that you, what you should do now is this is the phase where you explore it inside twin motion to make sure it works okay there's a couple things you can look for and i will show you a few of them right now so the outside of this one is great there was a model that i didn't need i'm going to put in a much nicer one now let's go and look on the inside okay it's a little bit bare but you know we also got to be realistic this you could just say it's an open concept okay uh, students could build the wall. There's primitive tools if they really, really want to, because this is a pretty nice model. I'm going to keep it for sure. Uh, and you know, the other piece is there's often several rooms in a house and some, this is a discussion we often have with students. Well, I don't, I don't always make them decorate every single room. They can if they want, but the goal is just to, uh, you know, learn to use this tool, learn to design, learn to iterate and, and think like a designer. So they don't have to do 20 rooms to do that. They could do that in two or three rooms. Okay. So that's a discussion you can have as a teacher. Now, the other big thing is let's have a look at the materials. Sometimes the way these models are designed is that there's just like one big chunk. And, and so you can't change much. So here's an example. I'm going to just go and get, it uh, doesn't really matter because I, I can change this later. So what I want to do is drag it on. So you see, it changes just that part and that changes most of the house, but that's fine. And that changes that part. So what's happening here, and I don't like this material. I'm going to use something else like stones or something is you can get a sense of, okay, it doesn't change too much. It changes a few parts. So I like this model. It passes the test for sure. Okay. So I would definitely this is my model and I am going to use it. Okay. So that is our first uh, important step. Take time to find the model that's both usable on the interior and in the exterior. Sometimes these models come with like a courtyard, which is totally fine. What we're going to do with this model, since it's kind of missing, I'd like to add a pool or something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it in right now. So you see, I have one model and you could bring in other models from SketchUp. Uh, now I'm just going to bring in one and I'm going to just bring in a pool, which I've already uh, downloaded and tested. And that's always the, the trick, right? Is go get it, test it. And then if it works fine and remember, this is usually by default set up at collapse by material, but tell students not to change that. That's really important. And then to add this fix UV textures and just bring it in and uh, we'll keep both. Sure. So there's my pool. I already tested this and you're like, well, there's no water in it. 
one of the things that you have to do is whenever you have models, there's like, this is the whole house and I can check just by turning the eye. Okay. And this is the whole pool. So what I want to do is select this and using the five, six, seven tool. Um, so it's actually six. I'm going to pull up the pool a little bit. So there you go. So, uh, I, I have the water and I could do this right now. I'll just show you an example of something. If you bring it in and you want to, okay, that looks good, but this looks kind of pretty basic. Uh, usually what I do at the beginning is I tell my students to use the snip tool um, or another screen grab tool of your choice, whatever you use at your school. But I'm going to just use snip right now. So give me a second because I want a before photo. Okay, so I'm going to do that right now. And you could choose to have your students take several before photos. Uh, usually I do one or two is good enough. Mm -hmm and make sure they save this in a safe location. Okay, and I'm going to solve it before uh, house decoration. Now you could do on the inside too, but usually I just do the one is good enough for me. Okay, so that's saved. And I just want to show you what happens when I bring in water, for example. So, so as you start modifying it, it'll start looking really good. And that's really the next step. So I'll keep that for the next video. So if you have any questions, please let me know. And thank you very much.